Yeah, you suck. You suck at Fortnite. Hey, Jeffy, me and Rose want to watch TV, so stop playing your video game. Hold on, Daddy. Somebody's shooting at me. I got to get the kill. Whee! Jeffy incoming! Back to the lobby you go! Jeffy, this game is very violent! Yeah, turn it off, Jeffy! Oh shit, he's shooting at me, Daddy! Hold on! Oh no, oh, no, he took my shield! Alright, oh, gotta put him in a box! Peekaboo! Good night! <laughs> she Daddy have murk these hoes! I mean, Jeffy, you really are good at this game! Marvin, I don't think Jeffy should be playing this! It has guns! Hold on, Daddy, I hear shooting! Sliding that pushy boy! Ah, oh, beam, 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 beam. Oh, you want them too? Ah, ah, get out of my lobby, bitches! Jeffy, language! Mommy, they suck at the game. I have to let them know. Just wait till I call them the N-word. What? Hold on, Daddy, I see someone. Come here, boy! Oh, come here, boy! Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? Ah, yeah, you can't run from me! All right, Jeffy, that's enough. Turn off the game. But, Daddy, there's only two people left. I have to finish the game to get the dub. Okay, after this game, you're turning it off. All right, last one left. I'm going to make you dance. Yeah, that's right, boy. Yeah, dance for me. Dance for daddy. Yeah, keep dancing. Yeah, you like that? I'm going to show you my favorite dance move. Bah! Yeah, victory! Wait, you won the whole thing? Yeah, Danny, because I'm cracked at this game. You do what, Jeffy? Crack. Have to in order to beat these sweats. All right, Jeffy, turn off the game. We want to watch TV. Oh, come on, Danny. Can I play one more game? I have 212 crowns, and I've been trying to get to 213 all day. How long does one game last? 20 minutes, but I can probably get that down to 10 if I start noob tubing. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, me and Rose are going to go do something for 20 minutes in the bedroom. <laughs> 20 minutes? Maybe if we take a nap. We'll be right back, so you better be done in 20 minutes. All right, now ready up on these hoes. All right, Jeffy, it's been 20 minutes. Time to get off the game. Hold on, Daddy. I've been sucking all game. I haven't gotten a single kill, but I'm still in the top two. I just don't know who each other guy is. Oh, beam, beam. What's happening? I'm getting shot at, Daddy. Hold on. What are you going to do? I'm about to crank 90s on these hoes. What does crank 90s mean? It's where you build up these... Oh, shit, Daddy. Hold on. I can't talk right now. I'm getting fucked. Wait, what are you going to do? We'll shoot at him. I'm going, I'm going to try. I'll just hit him for 90. Oh, shit, Daddy. He made me dance. Well, stop dancing. I can't. I can't stop dancing. He keeps throwing boogie bombs at me. Well, run off the side. I can't. I'll fall over and die. So then what are you going to do? Bend over and take it up the teleport. Oh, fuck. I got my cheeks clapped, my cheek clapper, one, two, three, three. Well, you can't win them all, Jeffy. No, Daddy, he cheated. He kept throwing boogie bombs at me so I couldn't move. Isn't that how you killed the guy last round? Yeah, but it's funny when I do it, but when they do it, it's cheating. Jeffy, go to your room. No, I hate this game. Ah! Jeffy, go to your room. I'm going to go destroy my room. Ah! You're only going to be hurting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy sounds really upset, Marvin. Over a video game, he'll get over it. And like you said, he shouldn't be playing violent video games like that anyway. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news, UK. Fortnite is holding a competition tonight at the convention center. 100 players will all play together, and the last player standing will win $1 million. $1 million? We have to enter Jeffy in that competition. What, Marvin? You just agreed he shouldn't be playing that video game. It's too violent. But Jeffy's really good at Fortnite. He, he was cranking 90s. You don't even know what that means. It means he's cracked at the game. That's what that means. So I'm going to go enter Jeffy in the competition because we're going to win a $1 million. Hey, Jeffy, how about you come back to the couch and play some more Fortnite? Well, Danny, after after a long, thorough, calm conversation with myself, I've decided I'm never playing Fortnite ever again. Why not? Because all it does is make me mad and brings out the worst in me. I've picked up a more mature game, a man's game. I'm going to be the Grand Wizard of Chess. Chess? Yep, just as soon as I figure out how to play it. Now you see, Daddy, chess is a lot harder than checkers because in chess, you get to move on all the spaces. Listen, Jeffy, there's a competition in Fortnite and you win a million dollars, so you're going to win it. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but I've given up Fortnite forever. What? <sighs> Okay, I guess Cheat Clapper 1233 three is always going to be better than you. He's not better than me, he just had boogie bombs! Well, I'm going to go watch Cheat Clapper 1233 three win this competition. Maybe I'll adopt him. Okay, fine, Daddy, I'll play Fortnite, come on! Okay, Jeffy, we're here at the Fortnite competition, but I guess we're the first ones here. Ladies and gentlemen, please calm down. The champion has a wine. Oh my god, Zach, you're so good at Fortnite. Yeah, Zach. Uh, ladies, I literally told you not to distract me before my game! Hey, Jeffy, it looks like that guy's good at Fortnite. Well, ask him if he's good! Are you good at Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you flicking serious right now? He just asked me if I'm good at Fortnite. Abby, am I good at Fortnite? He's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm pretty cracked, bro. I will literally gritty on you IOL right now. Well, I guess he's pretty good, Jeffy. Well, ask him how many crowns he has. How many crowns you have? 617. Is that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> is that a lot of crowns? Hey, Abby, is that a lot of crowns? Hell yeah, that's a lot of crowns. Tiffany, is that a lot of crowns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's a lot of clowns. Well, if you're really good at the game, maybe you and Jeffy can play sometime. What's your username? My username is Cheat Clapper One Two Three Three. Cheat Clapper One Two Three Three? You buggy bombed me and killed me! No freaking way! That was you, ladies. This is the guy that I made do the boogie woogie and then shotgun in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing for him. But seriously, bro, your build game is super whack. It's like the leaning tower of Pisa. You're not even good at the game. You need boogie bombs to win. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Well, where are the other players? Oh, it's just me and him because everyone's too scared to play against the Zack attack. I don't want to play him either. He's so good. So it seems to me like you have two options. You can either leave and protect your booty cheeks from being clapped. Oh, you can play against me and be humiliated when I pull your pants down and literally proceed to clap your cheeks in front of the whole nation in full K. I'm not backing down. I want my revenge. Are you freaking serious right now? You want to get your cheeks clapped that badly? Ladies, go get the loop. And how about you go ahead and pull your pants down for me to make it easier? You're not going to clap my cheeks. I'm going to clap your cheeks. <laughs> yeah, right. Your funeral. Ladies, let's go grab some more loop. You know I hate dry cheeks. Don't worry, Jeffy. I think you can beat him. I'm gonna try, guy. Hello and welcome to the Fortnite Battle Competition. We only have two competitors today, but the winner gets one million dollars. Prepare to play. Bad news, Jeffy. I couldn't find any lube, so it looks like I'm gonna have to rub down those booty cheeks. You can still back out if you want to. At least that way you can still poop properly. I never poop properly. I'm constipated as shit. Come on, Jeffy. You gotta win. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm gonna use my taco skin. You're totally gonna win, Zach. Yeah, Zach. Ladies, away from the TV, please. I need me some man cheeks today. Okay, let the match begin. I see you trying to hide behind that tree. Well, seriously, you just took all my shield. Oh, I gotta build up and get to high ground like Obi-Wan Kenobi, make it rain bullets. Whoa, stop playing 90s and learn to play the game. I do know how to play the game. Why don't you learn how to play the game and get good, kid? Match my height. Bro, you're literally trash. Andres, you're the one that's hiding. Come out and fight me. I'm not hiding. Oh, I just took your shield. Bro, you're so booty cheeks in the game. My grandmother's literally better than you. Oh, really? Then why don't you build up to me then? Fight me like a man. Well, I'm trying, but you're building Empire State Building. Take this boogie bomb. Bro, stop it. Dance for me. Are you serious? Stop. Dance for daddy. I don't want to. Stop it. You like that boogie bomb? How's it feel? Seriously, knock it off. Yeah, can't take that again. Please stop. Sayonara, Wait, bitch. No, no. Daddy, I won. No freaking way. You need those boogie bombs. You said that was cheating. Don't hit the player, hit the game. Whoa, that's my line. Jeffy, you're the greatest Fortnite player ever. Yeah, you beat Zach. Ladies, come freaking on. It was only one game. You know I'm more cracked. Jeffy, you're so cracked at Fortnite. Come on, ladies. You're coming with me. Ladies, come on. Ladies, don't leave. Ladies. Jeffy, I can't believe you won a million dollars! I know, Denny! Let's go to the bank and cash a check right now! Well, it's nighttime right now, Jeffy. All the banks are closed. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. You're so rich, Jeffy. Pay for my transition surgery. Wait a minute. It says Zack attack on the check. That's because they're used to writing the checks to me because I always win. Wait, how'd you get here? Your front door was unlocked. Well, why are you here? I want my ladies back. We don't want to be with you, Zack. You're not cracked at Fortnite. I am so quick. I only lost one game. Well, listen, they made a mistake and they put your name on the check. So, I want you to endorse this check to Jeffy. You want me to endorse that check to Jeffy? Yeah, endorse this check to Jeffy and then you can get your ladies back. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Ladies, look, I have a million dollars. Let's go. Okay. What? Hey, you can't do that. Let's see whose name is on this check. Zach Attack. Suck my balls from the back. 
Hey! Wait, you just stole that check! I'm gonna call the cops! Uh, hey there, somebody called the cops? Yes, someone stole my son's million dollar check! Oh, somebody stole a million dollar check with your son's name on it? No, it doesn't have my son's name on it. Well, whose name is on the check? The guy who stole it. Well, it sounds like it would be that guy's check. No, it's not meant for him, it was meant for my son. The people who gave us the check put the guy who stole its name on it. Why would they do that unless it's his check? Well, the guy who stole it usually gets these checks, but this time my son gets the check, and they accidentally put the guy's name who stole its name on it, but it's meant for my son. It really sounds like you're full of shit. No, 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 no. If you go track the guy down, you can grab the check. It has his name on it, but it's, he'll tell you. He's going to tell you it's for him, but it's not. It's for me. It, it, the more you talk, the more it sounds like it's that other guy's check. No, no, listen, the, the money was for my son, because my son beat the guy who stole it in a competition to win that check, and they say that he always wins, and they usually put his name on the check, and they put his name on it. So my son's name was supposed to be on it, and we were going to get it fixed, but the guy took the check because his name was on it. It's okay, buddy. We'll get you medicated. No, I, I promise you, he stole it. it. It wasn't meant for him. It, uh -huh, that's okay. No, it was meant for my son. Mm -hmm, of course. The, 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 the million, the big, the million dollar mistake. I know, I know, buddy. It's okay. Okay, guys, are you ready to build this airplane Lego set? Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, it has 669 pieces. I like the 69 part. <laughs> let's get started, dude. Yeah, let's build this thing. Wait, what's wrong? Yeah, what's the matter, Genie? We have to build it. Well, yeah, I mean, they're Legos. That's how Legos work. I don't want to build it. It's going to take hours. I want to play with it already built. Well, then don't buy Legos, then. They should sell Legos already built. They do. It's called toys. Well, I want to play with Legos, but built and not have to build it. It's going to take hours. Well, I mean, I have Legos at my house that I already built. You do? Yeah. Okay, let's go play with Legos at your house. Okay, come out. Let's go. Okay, guys, check out my Legos. Whoa, you built all this stuff, Cody? Yep, I built the Millennium Falcon and Baby Yoda and R2-D2. <gasps> Is that the Disney? Disney Castle, Cody? Oh, yeah, that took forever to build. Oh, dude, I can't lie. This is super sick. <gasps> Cody, what is that? Oh, that. That's my Lego Titanic. You built this? Oh, yeah, it took months. Dude, this is huge. Yeah, it is pretty big. Oh, you mean the Titanic. Yeah, that's pretty big, too. Cody, can we put it in my pool and see if it sinks? Well, it's gonna sink. It's made of Legos. Well, can we put it in the pool? What? Well, no, it took me forever to build this. We gotta <laughs> see if it floats, dude. Yeah. It's not gonna float. But how do you build a Lego Titanic you don't try to reenact the crash in a pool? What? I don't want to destroy it. This took me forever to build. Come on, Cody. No. Wait, oh, 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 sorry, guys. I gotta use the bathroom. I haven't pooped in like three days, so I'm pretty backed up. Joseph, let's grab this and put it in my pool. Oh, dude, we got to. I got this side. Oh, I got this side. Uh, careful, uh, careful. Whoa, Joseph, this is so cool. I know, dude. It's like the real Titanic. Oh, where's that iceberg? I gotta hit it. Ooh, I'll be the iceberg. Hit me. Okay, dude. Watch out. I'm not paying attention, and I got a boat full of billionaires. Oh! Hey, Brass, your dinner's ready. All right, we have to go inside. Let it go, Joseph. But, dude, it's going to sink. It's the unsinkable ship, Joseph. It can't sink. Oh, yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? Yeah, let's go inside. Man, Joseph, I'm so full, but I love it when Chef PB makes hot dog pizza. Oh yeah, dude, hot dog pizza is the best. Yeah, let's go outside and play with our Titanic. Oh yeah, let's see how many people drown. All right, Joseph, you ready to play with this Titanic? Yeah, dude, but where is it? What? We left it right here. I know, but oh, dude, look! What? It sank! Oh, I told you it was gonna sink. Well, I didn't think it was actually gonna sink. I, th I thought it was like a Lego Titanic. Dude, it's like the real Titanic. <gasps> that is really cool that it really sank. I know, right? But how are we gonna get it back before Cody notices? Uh, dive down there and get it. Okay, I'll get it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Joseph, it's too deep. My ears started hurting from all the pressure. How are we going to get it, dude? I don't know. We need, like, a submarine or something. Where are we going to get a submarine from? Um, uh, I got an idea. Come on. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Sorry I took so long. I was taking a mean grumpy in the toilet. What? Guys? What? Oh, hell no! They took my Lego Titanic! Oh, I'm so pissed off! Cody, calm down. What's wrong? Did you slam your pee-pee in the toilet seat again? Well, yes, but that's not why I'm mad. Were well, you taking the bath and you got the bar so stuck up your butt again? Yeah, but it's not that either. My friend stole my Lego Titanic. Well, I don't know what that means, but I hope you win. Yeah, I love Remember the Titans. Oh, that Denzel Washington. If I could just have one night with him. Me too. Okay. 
Okay, Junior, where the frick is my heckin' Lego Titanic? And don't even tell me you didn't take it, because I know your stinky little hands did. All right, dude, I think you should tell him. He's obviously serious, because he's cussing. Wait, and what's this? Hot dog pizza? You guys hot dog pizza and you didn't invite me? Well, look, there's some hot dog left. There's a tip right there. I don't want the tip. I want the whole thing. And then I want some hot dogs. Zing! Look, if you want your Lego Titanic back so bad, why don't you go get it? What? Jenny, usually people say that before they throw something. Look, it's at the bottom of my pool. What? Because we were swimming with it. What? And it sank. What? But I'm going to build a submarine and go get it. What? You don't have to build a submarine. It's in your pool. Just swim down there and get it. I tried to go do that, but it hurt my ears because of all the pressure. There can't be that much pressure. It's a pool. Uh, the pool's pretty deep, dude. Yeah, go, go get it then, Cody. Uh, it hurts my ears. Yeah, so I'm going to build this submarine. What? You don't know how to build a submarine. Yes, I do. I'm going to build out of carbon fiber and duct tape. Duct tape? The strongest thing known to man. Yeah, I'm going to break some rules making this submarine. I don't want somebody breaking rules to make my submarine. Well, I'm going to break some rules, and I bet you a few billionaires would pay to ride on this thing. Look, I just want my Lego Titanic back. And the only way to get it is to build this submarine. So let me build it, and, I'll, and then you can ride in it with me. <laughs> And done! Aw oh, man, it looks pretty professional to me, dude. And I didn't even have to use all the duct tape. Maybe you should have. I'm gonna call this thing Old Yellow. Old Yellow? Like the dog movie. What, you mean like Old Yeller, the movie where the dog dies? Oh man, I love that movie. We're not gonna die like the dog did because we're in this nice, safe submarine. Okay, just a couple problems, Junior. How are we gonna breathe in there? Like this. <gasps> Wait, no, Junior, I know how breathing works. You asked how we're gonna breathe in there and I showed you. Wait, no, I mean how much air are we gonna have in there? The world is full of air, Cody. We can breathe all we want. No, no, I mean idiot. Well, I mean, when we seal ourselves in there and we eventually run out of air, we won't be able to breathe. We're going to have air, Cody. We're on Earth. Earth has air. We're not going to run out of air for like 100 million years. No, that's not... Fine, forget that. How about this? What is this even made of? It doesn't feel very sturdy. It might implode. What's implode mean? It's the opposite of explode. So it's a good thing. No, it's a very bad thing. No, you said exploding is bad, right? So if you implode, it's the opposite of explode, so it's a good thing. Yeah, I want to get my implode on. Let's implode, dude. Yeah, I hope we implode. No, no, we don't want to implode. It's, it's like we're, it caves in on itself. We're not going to cave in, Cody. We're not going in the caves. We're going underwater. Duh. Wait, no, no, no. It's like, it's like it, it, it crumples. It, it crushes. Like the, the name of the turtle from Finding Nemo? Wait, no, that's crush. No, no. Guys, guys. Uh, I, I think I know how to explain this. Guys, get in here. Cody, what are you doing? Uh, dude, that's a fire hazard. Yeah, you can't cook a can of Sprite, Cody. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to show you what an implosion is, okay? Now, just imagine this Sprite can is the submarine, and this is what's going to happen to us if we go too deep in the pool and the pressure gets to be too bad, okay? Watch. See? What, what just happened? It imploded. What? No, you said imploding was a, the opposite of explosion. That's a can of Sprite that just crushed Cody. Yeah, we wouldn't even fit in that, dude. Yeah, there's no way we could fit in that. What? No, no, this is what the submarine's gonna do. No, my submarine is not a can of Sprite, Cody. It can't just crush like that. Yeah, it's ten times the size of that, dude. What? No, but this is what's gonna happen, though. What? No, it's not, Cody, because we're not gonna put the submarine on the stove and then a plate. I don't know what the hell you're doing, Cody. You put drinks in the refrigerator, idiot. Yeah, if you wanted to crush a can, you could have just stepped on it. You didn't have to do all this nerd crap. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Fine, let's just try it. It's a pool. It can't go that wrong. Yeah, because I don't know what you're doing trying to cook cans of Sprite. Are you okay? I don't understand what the whole point of that was, Cody, but are you at least going to go eat the can of Sprite you cooked? Junior, I wasn't going to eat it. It was a science experiment. I mean, it's well done now. Yeah, it's ready to eat, Cody. But no, it was just to show you what's going to happen to us when we go down into the pool. Cody, this submarine is made out of duct tape. That can of Sprite is made out of aluminium. But why are you saying it like you're British? I did not say duct tape. I said duct tape in an American accent, Cody. Okay, fine, Junior. What's your plan? So, we're going to go inside this and we're going to drive down to the Titanic. Wait, drive? Yeah, it has this controller that controls it. That looks like a toy controller. Yeah, but it controls it. All it does is go up and down, and we go down there and we grab your Titanic. Oh, man, that looks fun. I wish I was going. Yeah, so me and you are going to get inside, and Joseph's going to duct tape us closed. Wait, yes. Duct tape us closed? How are we going to get out? We're not. The only way we get out is if Joseph takes the duct tape off when we get back. But what if there's an emergency and we need to get out down there? If there's an emergency, we're going to die anyway. So come on, Cody. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Joseph, duct tape is closed. I got you, bro. All right, dude. I duct taped you in there. Get nice and comfy. There's no way out. All right, Cody. Are you ready to go save the Titanic? That you sank? It wouldn't have sank if you had been playing with us because you would have watched it and it wouldn't have sank. Junior, I'm getting claustrophobic in here. Look, it's only going to take a few minutes. All right, Joseph. Take us to the pool and drop us in there. All right. You got it, bro. <laughs> All right, Cody, we're at the bottom of my pool. And look, there's your Lego Titanic. Great, grab it. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, shit. What? I forgot to add a mechanical arm to grab stuff. What, what do you mean you forgot the arm? I just didn't think to add an arm. I just thought we had to go underwater to look at it. To look at it? Junior, we could have done that from the surface. Okay, look, we're just gonna go back up. I'm gonna add an arm and we'll come back down. Okay. 
Oh shit. What now? I didn't add an engine to, you know, move it. What, Junior, are you kidding me? You're telling me we're trapped at the bottom of this pool, duct tape shut with no way out? Yeah. What, Junior, God damn it, we're gonna die down here. We're not gonna die. Look, we can sit down and just relax and breathe. We can't breathe, Junior. We're gonna run out of air. We're not gonna run out of air. The world's full of air. Shut the fuck up, Junior. What I mean is we breathe oxygen. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Eventually, the oxygen is gonna run out and we're gonna die. Okay, look, so then I'll just hold my breath. What? <gasps> Junior, you don't have to hold your breath. <laughs> Junior, now you're wasting even more air. Okay, look, I'm sorry. How about I just call Joseph and tell him to come get us? Yes, do that. Okay, let me grab my phone. All right, Cody, it's ringing. Hey, dude, did you get the Titanic? Well, I didn't add a robotic arm to grab it. Oh, man, that would have been sick. Yeah, so I need you to come down here and grab us because we're stuck. Wait, wait, it's too deep, dude. You know my ears are buzz. Oh, yeah, the pressure. Well, can you at least call the cops and tell them to come help us? Oh, uh, dude, I guess so. I'll call the cops. All right. He's gonna call the cops because it's, he can't come get us. Great. Okay, so what's going on? My friends are stuck in the submarine down by the Titanic. Okay, I have so many questions. Why is there a Lego Titanic at the bottom of this pool? Because it's saint. Oh, well, naturally. Okay, but why are they in a submarine? Because they were trying to rescue the Titanic. Well, that's stupid. Well, why don't you just tell them to get out and swim up? Uh, they can't because I duct taped it closed from the outside. Oh, so they are trapped in there. Yeah. Uh, how much oxygen do they have? Like a couple minutes. Minutes? Um, okay, I think I have an idea. <sighs> Junior, I'm getting lightheaded. I think that means we're running out of oxygen. Cody, if we die, I hope I'm remembered as an innovator, someone who broke the rules. Junior, you're gonna be remembered as an idiot, and I'll be remembered as an idiot too for listening to you. Oh, cheer up, Cody. I got a funny joke for you. What do you call a dog on a submarine? What? A subwoofer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just a low oxygen or if that was just funny as fuck. Oh, uh, Cody... I've been holding in a fart for a while. That hot dog pizza's not settling well. Junior, don't. We only have a little bit of oxygen left, and I don't want to die breathing your ass fumes. Wait, actually, I think that's exactly how I want to die. Let it rip. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's your plan to save them? Save them? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Well, wait, you're not going to rescue them? No, man, they're not billionaires. We're not spending taxpayer money to save these kids. I need something that'll make the news. you got to save them. My friends are going to die. Look, I didn't make them get in that shitty submarine. Come on, please. You need to rescue them. Hey, don't make me arrest you. You're getting a little rowdy. Wh what? Uh, you know what? I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> hmm. I like this couch. Is this a new couch? This is a new couch. Wow, that Grimace video really messed up the old one. <laughs> oh, Cody, you're throwing up all inside the submarine. Oh, God, Junior, that fart smelled so bad. It was a fart, Cody. I don't know. I just thought I was going to like it. I don't know what I was thinking. It was a throw up everywhere. Oh, God, get us out of here. Somebody help us. Help. 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 Oh, God, it stinks. Help us. Ugh, just about to go surfing in this pool. Whoa, wait. Is that the Lego Titanic? Cool. Wait, is that a submarine? And there are people in there. Oh my god. My lifeguard senses are tingling. I can hear them calling for help with my sonar hearing. I'm coming, bros! Uh, uh, I saved you guys, but I broke my teeth. I hit my mouth on your little glass thing. Oh, I'm really glad that surfer guy came along and saved us. Yeah, I feel bad about his teeth. Oh, hey, officer. Oh, hey. Hey, did you kids hear about those two stupid kids that are trapped at the bottom of a pool in a little submarine? <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to die. What a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah, one of their friends told me to go get help, but, I mean, they're not billionaires. Why would I even bother? That was us. Huh? We were the two kids trapped in the submarine. Oh, oh, that was, that was you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, I know. I, 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 uh, I called the president, and he sent uh, the Coast Guard and the Navy and the Air Force for some reason, and the Marines, and SEAL Team 6, so that, that's probably who saved you. No, it was a random surfer. That was Aquaman. Uh, yeah, that was Aquaman. I, I sent him down there. That, that's why I'm celebrating with this beer, because I knew he was going to save you. Oh, well, I sure learned my lesson. I learned to never build a submarine myself and try to go see the Titanic. Yeah, don't, don't do that again. And sorry we didn't get your Titanic, Cody. It's going to just stay down there, I guess. That's okay. I guess that's just going to have to be its final resting place. Yeah. Well, look on the bright side, kids. At least you guys didn't pay for that experience. Yeah. This is a new couch, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good upholstery. I like it. It's firm. I was just going to chill here for a while, if you guys don't mind. You didn't call for help, did you? I did not. Hey, Mommy, can you help me go over the Apple bet? Sure, Jeffy. It's the alphabet, Jeffy, not the Apple bet. No, it's the Apple bet. Alphabet. Then why does A start with Apple? Apple starts with A. Well, hold your tongue and say Apple. Why? Because it's funny. Just do it.
Asshole. Asshole! You should be don't cuss. You said it first! No, I didn't. I said asshole. Asshole! Marvin, it does kind of sound like that. Sound like what? Asshole! Jeffy, stop cussing! Jeffy, give me the cards and let me help you. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Ready? A, B, C, D, Ugh. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, There's no rhythm. Q, R, S, T, U, V, double V. Wait, 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 what, what'd you just say, Jeffy? Double V. No, that's a double U. No, it's a double V, cause look. See, you got a V right there, and if you put two V's side by side, it makes a double V. No, that's a double U. Well, Daddy, look right here. See, that's a U, and the U is rounded, and the V is pointy. And if you put two pointy V's together, you get a double V. And if it was really a W, they'd be rounded, and it would look like boobies. Well, I understand that makes sense, but it's called a double U, not a double V. Well, I think they should change it. Well, they're not going to change the alphabet, Jeffy. It's the way it is. Well, I'm going to sue. Who are you going to sue? I'm going to sue the alphabet. Well, you can't sue the alphabet, Jeffy. That is a double U. It'll always be a double U, no matter how much sense you're making. No, it's a double V, and I'm going to let someone know about it. <sighs> He's so dumb. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy versus the alphabet. Jeffy is suing the alphabet because he wants the letter W to be called double V. Uh, one thing, real quick. Uh, since the alphabet is not a person, uh, Bailiff, who do we have here representing the alphabet? Well, Your Honor, we have this dictionary, and it's full of words and letters, so I guess that's kind of like the alphabet, and I guess his name would be Webster. I mean, it has 20,000 words in it, but, I mean, there's actually 140,000 words in the English language, so I don't really know how they decided which 20,000 words to put in here. I guess it's just kind of like the top 20,000 words. Like, they should have called this, now that's what I call words. It's just kind of the best of. But anyway, we're using this as the alphabet. Oh, good, we can start then. Jeffy, tell me why you think the letter W should be called double V. Mommy, get in here! Well, Your Honor, most people call this letter a W when in fact it should be called a double V because this letter right here is a V and if you put two V's side by side, it makes a double V. This letter right here is a U. Notice how it's rounded on the bottom and on the double V, it's pointy like the letter V. So this letter right here should be called a double V and not a double U. Hmm, interesting. Let me see those cards. Yes, let's see how. Mm. Mm. Yes, I suppose you're right. It does look more like a double V than a double U. <laughs> Jeffy, you are a very smart young man. Oh, that must be my phone alarm. Oh yes, I have low blood sugar, so it's time for my daily Big Mac. It's bad for my cholesterol, but you only live once. Mm. 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 That is delicious. Oh, my heart! Oh, I'm having a Big Mac attack! Help me! Your Honor, are you okay? I'm having a heart attack. Someone help me. Sir, I'm a doctor. I can get you to a hospital right away. But but who's going to take over your judge duties? Him. That boy. He's a genius. I trust him to make good decisions while I'm in the hospital. Really? Him? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Are you questioning my orders? I choose him. Now get me to a hospital immediately. Right away, sir. <sighs> you, boy. You're the judge of this courtroom now! Everybody do what he says until I get back! Sir, we have to go right now! You are the judge. What you say goes! I'm the judge now? That's awesome! Order, order, order! <coughs> I'm Judge Jeffy, and there's gonna be some changes around here. And my first rule is that the letter W will be now called the letter double V. Anyone who calls it W will be sentenced to 50 years in prison. And also, if I find someone innocent, they'll get a good boy sticker. All right, bailiff, I'm ready to hear my first case. Okay, Your Honor, this is Goodman, and he was arrested on tax evasion. It's my hard-earned money. I shouldn't have to give it to poor people. He hasn't paid his taxes in 12 years, which is a very serious crime. Listen, Judge, this is a suitcase full of cold, hard cash. I'll give it to you if you just let me go. And that's bribery, which is another charge. Come on, just take the money. Don't take the money. Simon says take the money. Hmm. Uh, I'll take the money. Bring it here. Here you go. You can't do that. All right, thank you very much. I find this man innocent. And don't forget your good boy sticker. Thank you. All right, bailiff, I'm ready to hear the next case.
Hey, Your Honor, you can't be doing that. Do what? Letting people bribe you to get away with their crimes. But I'm the judge! Well, yeah, but as a judge, you have great power. And it's like Spider-Man says after he does that wrestling match to get money to buy a new car to impress Mary Jane. He says, I need that money. So I need that money or else I'm going to tell the other judges that you take bribes. <sighs> All right, fine. Take this and shut up and bring me my next case. Okay, whatever you say goes. <laughs> okay, Your Honor, this next case is a single... <laughs> shut the hell up! Your Honor, this next case is a single mother who was caught shoplifting. She claims she was trying to steal food to feed her son. I didn't have much money this month. Times are hard. Hmm, what kind of food was she stealing? She stole a can of green beans, sir. Oh, guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. My pet electric chair, take her to the cell. And also, you tried poisoning your kid by feeding him green beans, so attempted murder. Guilty! Okay, off to the cell we go. No! Also, new law, green beans are now illegal. Anyone caught in possession of it is now sentenced to death. Baby, let's bring in my next case. Okay, Your Honor, your next case is this woman I caught on the street trying to sell, well, herself. Well, times are hard. Yeah, when I arrested her in the back of my cop car, she offered me a whole bunch of nasty stuff, and I only took her up on one or two of those nasty things, okay? I'm a man. I have needs, after all. But still, what she did is illegal. And so is what I did, but we're cool, right? I didn't hear a word you said, but all I know is that you arrested an innocent woman! She's free! to go underneath this desk, because I just came into a lot of cash, and now it's sticky. Okay! Look, I'm not going to argue with this one. I'll go get the next case. What do you want me to do? Just take some cash and go sit down there. I'll do with you later. Okay. Next! Okay, Your Honor, our next case is this homeless guy I found outside peeing on the courthouse, so that's public urination. Aliens took my right ear. He's homeless! Where else is he supposed to pee? He's innocent. Come up here and get your sticker. All right, go get your sticker. All right, here's your sticker. It matches your shirt. <laughs> sticker man. Now you get to go pee wherever you want. I'm gonna go pee on a school bus. All right. All right, bring in my next case. Okay, Your Honor, I caught these two posing as debt collectors and calling elderly people to steal their credit card information. Look, Judge, they willingly gave us that credit card information. See, they owe. What they gonna spend that money on? Teeth? Coffins? Exactly, baby. Now look, Judge, before you try to send us to jail, I would like to offer you something. My wife, see, she has some services that you can't get no else on this planet. Now pop it to that, baby. Hey there, big boy. I don't want to go to jail. Eh? Eh? Well, that position's already been filled. Well, actually currently being filled, so you're guilty. And also, I order you to pay back all the money that you've stolen, so however much that is, just calculate that with a calculator. Also, go to jail for like a day. And also, no sticker for you. No sticker? You suck, Judge. It's because we're black, baby. Damn right, homie. Shit's hot out here. Talk that shit, baby. Next case. Okay, Your Honor, this is Bubbles. Uh, he's been in jail for a long time. Not long enough, because I ain't got your cute ass yet. <laughs> uh, I don't like the way he looks at me. Uh, I'm getting worried. Anyway, the reason he's here is because he does unspeakable things to his cellmate. The most recent thing is that he branded his name on another inmate's ass. Yeah, it's my booty. I own that booty now. Well, well, see, what happened is he said that another inmate tried to take that booty, and he said his name wasn't on it, so he put his name on the booty. Yeah, I own that booty now. My booty. Okay, well, just to be clear, he doesn't own another inmate's ass. You, you can't do that. I did that. Okay, well, I still separated them, but now during rec time, he calls it erect time, and he finds them out on the yard. Yeah, because when I like you, I want you. And I get you. Yeah, he says he says that a lot, too. We tried putting him in solitary confinement, but then when the guards go to bring his food, he convinces them to open the door, and then it's just over. Yeah, I'm a bloodhound for that ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, you see this number right here? <laughs> That's how many booties I got. 582 booties and counting. Yeah, we have to make him a new jumpsuit every day. you number 583. I suggest we euthanize this man. <laughs> Well, was anyone else's name on the booty? Well, no, Your Honor. No other inmates are claiming to own another man's ass in prison. Well, I guess since no one else's name was on it, finders keepers. He's innocent. Come get your sticker. But, Your Honor... <laughs> I told you, I guess what I want. <laughs> now meet me in the bathroom in 10 minutes. Clean up while I get my sticker. <laughs> okay. All right, what color sticker do you want? I want the color of the inside of the booty. Red. <laughs> All right, next case. Okay, Your Honor, we caught this kid spray painting a stop sign so it says go, and he caused a 10-car pileup. What, loser? You're a judge now? Yeah, I am the judge now, and I don't even care what he did. I sent him to 10 years in jail, and when you get out after 10 years, come see me and I'll give you 10 more years. 
What? Ten years? Yeah, you heard him. He's the judge, so come on. Come on. Shabon! Next case! Okay, Your Honor, this is Chef Pee Pee. He got caught stealing from the salad bar to Ruby Tuesdays without paying for it. Look, Judge, I ate dinner there, and I still paid for my meal. I was walking out, and I decided to just pick up a little cherry tomato and eat it at the salad bar. And look, I paid for my meal. I still paid for the meal. Yeah, but you didn't pay the $8.99 for the salad bar. <laughs> what? Cherry tomatoes are gross. Guilty. Six months in jail. Six months in jail for one cherry tomato? Jeffy, I'll kill you. Come on. All right, next case. Hey, Your Honor, there's actually no more cases left for the day. Oh, well, in that case, can you send in my mommy and daddy? But they didn't do anything to get arrested. But I summoned them to my courtroom! Okay, if you say so. Uh, what's going on? Your son's the judge now. What? Aw, oh, Jeffy, you look so cute with that little hammer. Daddy, hold your tongue and say apple. Why? Do what he says. He's the judge. <sighs> apple. Don't cuss in the courtroom. I was saying apple. Ugh. All right, Daddy, what were you going to feed me for dinner tonight? Uh, green beans? Jail. Jail? How long, sir? I don't know, just jail. Take him away, but not mommy. What? Okay. What? No, Debbie, I hate you! Hello, everybody, I am back! Good news! It turns out I did not actually have a heart attack. It was just angina. I know it sounds like a dirty word, but it's actually not. It's just chest pain. Okay, Jeff, and bequeath me my seat back. I can't queef. No, bequeath. It means to give. Give me my seat back. Okay. Yes, thank you. Mm. Oh, it feels good to be back. Oh, hello. What is your name? I see you left me a little gift. Mm. So, Jeffy, how was it being a judge? It was pretty cool. People had to listen to what I say. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Put Jeffy on the phone. Oh, okay. Jeffy, here. It's for you. Yellow. Listen, Jeffy, you put me in jail, but you didn't tell him how long I was supposed to be in jail. So can you please tell him how long? Yeah, just let me know when you want him out. I don't know. Depends on if you're going to take me to Chuck E. Cheese every day. Jeffy, tell him to let me out right now. Hmm. Tell me you won't feed me green beans anymore. No, I won't feed you green beans. All right, tell him I'll let you out. Okay, got it. All right, you're free to go. Okay, thank you. So, how was jail, Marvin? You know, jail gave me a lot of time to think. Think about how I'm gonna beat your ass, Jeffy! Well, I'm gonna call the judge and tell on you! What? I'm calling the judge and telling on you! Wh what? Hello? Hey, judge, it's me, Jeffy. Jefferoni and Cheese, the J Man. J E double F Y, because I have to. Ah, Jeffy, my man! Homie, <laughs> I'm very grateful for the suitcase of cash you left me. And the young lady. Be gentle with her. She cost me a smooth 10K. But I was calling because my daddy's trying to beat me. So tell him to stop. Tell him if he does not follow orders, he will meet my wrath. Bye! You hear that? Yes. Yay, we fixed the apple bed. Now take me to Chuck E. Cheese. But I'm tired, Jeff. Take me to Chuck E. Cheese! Okay. okay. Yay, Chuck or Cheese! Meow, 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 meow. Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> Marvin, 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 can we please go see Trailer Park Danny? Who's Trailer Park Danny? He's a famous country singer. But you don't listen to country music. Sure I do, but I only listen to Trailer Park Danny. I don't think we should waste our money on Trailer Park tickets. But Marvin, please, he's coming into town with his sister, who's also his wife. His sister's his wife? That's disgusting. No, Marvin, just watch one music video. You'll fall in love with the sound of his voice. Ah! Jeffy, I'm trying to watch this thing. Stop it. My sexy sister, I sure want to kiss her. I want to lick those pretty yellow teeth and grab a few beers and get in my truck. We can go mudding and hope we don't get stuck. Cause I'm a cousin wrecking tractor, pulling corn, growing bull riding right some gun. Son of a gun. Cause I'm a shine sipping knee. Slapping, lasso throwing, cow tipping, son of a gun! Son of a gun! See, Marvin, isn't he amazing? Even the kitty cat liked him. Where'd that cat come from? He has the voice of an angel, Marvin. That's why I have to see him in concert. Well, how much are the tickets? $500 for the front row. $500? Please, Marvin! No! <laughs> Oh, you made mommy cry, and now you're going to the bad place. Hell. Why'd you whisper hell? Because it's a bad word, and you're not supposed to say shit like that. You just said the S word. No, I didn't. You're a liar, and liars go to hell. Jeffy, shut up. Well, Danny, I could become a country singer, and then I could sing for mommy for free. You don't have a country voice, Jeffy. Yes, I do, Danny. Watch. I voted for Trump. Build the wall. Where'd that voice come from? It's my country voice, Danny, and watch this. Alabama football team, roll tight, Nick 7, 24 car, Jeff Gordon, 93 octane's the best octane, yeehaw. What? 
what? And the saddest day of my life was when Dale Earnhardt crashed the car into the wall and the car burst into flames and he died right there. And that was the saddest day of NASCAR ever. And NASCAR's never been the same since. But don't get me wrong, Dale Earnhardt Jr. can drive the fuck out of a race car. And don't even get me started on Hamburger Helper. I'll eat that shit up. All right, Jeffy, I guess you do have a good country voice, so if you go make a song, maybe she'll like it. All right, Danny, I just gotta call my cousin so I can make out with her while watching Old Yeller. Jerry Moore! Hey, Danny, what you up to? Jeffy, what's this ridiculous outfit? Well, I just got back from the stew cooking up some hot beets. So hot, I could fry an egg on my sister's ass. Yummy! What? Yeah, Danny, I made a music video and a song. Well, let me see it. All right, here you go. Check it. Jerry Moore! This song goes out to my beautiful sister. We've been married for six years. I love you, baby. I love my sister. Yes, I do. Yeehaw! I love my sister because she's prettier than you. Oh, I like NASCAR and drinking beer. I like mudding and shooting deer. Got two teeth, well, come on here. My truck's lit, there's nothing to fear. You like big trucks, I'll give you a ride. Alabama football, roll time. My mama's cooking, tastes so good. Don't talk to me if you live in the hood. I love my sister, yes I do. Jerry! I love my sister, she's my cousin too. Jeffy, turn that off! What's wrong, Daddy? That song was very inappropriate. Well, that's what country singers sing about. The only thing I didn't mention was losing my dog or my wife leaving me, but I'll sing about that in the next song. Jeffy, do not release that song. Too late, Daddy. Already did. Now every trailer park princess from Mississippi to Alabama will be wanting to lick my beanies and suck my weenies. Richie, shut up! <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I'm big time record label manager Steve Stelberger. Is Jeffy here? Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, you must be his father. Your son's gonna be huge, I tell ya, huge! Wait, really? Oh yeah, let me come inside and we'll talk business. Okay, okay come on in. So here's Jeffy. Hey there, Sonny, you ready to be a star? Piggly Wingling! I'll take that as a yes! Wait, 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 hold on, what's going on? Well, Jeffy released this new single and all the country bumpkins are going crazy over so the record label wants to offer him a five million dollar deal. Here's the cash. What? Well, that's a lot of cash. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What does Jeffy have to do for that money? Oh, you know, just the usual. Sell his likeliness, his face, his voice, pretty much sell his soul. Jeffy, would you sell your soul for five million dollars? Yes. And just in case you didn't hear me, Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Why does the record label want Jeffy? Why are they offering him so much money? Well, the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with someone new, someone younger, someone sexier. So the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with Jeffy? I hate Trailer Park D Danny because my, my wife loves him and I want him gone. Yeah, they sure do. All he has to do is say yes. For the third time. Yes. Yes, we'll take the deal. All right, take your money. See you later. <gasps> Jeffy, look at all this cash. <laughs> Jeffy! What? Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, count the cash. Make sure they didn't leave any behind. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't. <laughs> Hello? Hey there, does that Jeffy feller live here? Wait, you're Trailer Park Danny. Sure am, and this here's my beautiful sister Charlene. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. You think she's pretty? Uh, yeah, she's very pretty. Well, don't go getting no ideas, mister. Her teeth are mine to lick. Sue! Wait, uh, no, actually, I don't really think she's that attractive. You think my sister's ugly? You take that! No, no, she's actually very hot. Okay, okay. Well, hey, listen, mister, we need to talk to that Jeffy feller. Well, he's upstairs, so come on in. All right. Hey, Jeffy, Trailer Park Danny wants to talk to you. Does you want to see my cash? I got a bone to pick with you, Jeffy. Well, I got your bone right here. Tell me why the record label calls me on my telephone saying they gave all my money to you. Because I'm the shit? More like piece of shit. Now, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my damn trailer, my pig, my boat. And now my sister's talking about leaving me. i never leave you, brother. You better not, because I'll tell Mom. Don't you tell Mama. Oh, I sure would, and she'd throw your ass down in a well. Well, damn. Wait, is she really, like, your real sister? Hell yeah, we're fraternal twins. We shared a womb, now we share a room. Yeah, yeah. We got married at the family reunion. Hell yeah, and I'll tell you what, she was the prettiest girl there. Before I knew it, I was proposing to her at the county fair. Man, was she looking pretty sitting there bobbing for apples, she had one on each tooth. I had more teeth back then. Then before I knew it, I was on one knee proposing, and I'll tell you what, she said yes faster than a red water pig scarfing out a chili dog, hell yeah, row tide. Okay, I think we're getting off topic. What are you wanting from Jeffy? I want half his damn money. No! Well, yeah, he earned this money. No, he didn't. He wrote one, two, 
country song. I wrote 53 about Sister Lickin. Okay, listen, listen, listen. The, the record label said that you're old news. Old news? I'll show you old news. You'll rue the day you met in Trailer Park Dan, Jeffy. Come on, sister, let's get out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, well, just remember to wipe back to front. Always do. I'll meet you in the truck. Uh... Dang, she's so sexy. No, she's not. The, the bathroom's down there. He's hot! No, no, no. Listen, the bathroom's that way. You should go use the bathroom. Dad, do you think she'll date me? What? No, you should ask her. Would you date my son? Sure would! Oh, F yeah. All right, baby, go wait in my room. Danny, I'm gonna knock those teeth out. What? You count the cash. No, no, don't count the cash. I thought you already counted the cash. Danny, I don't know how to count. You count the cash, I'm gonna go get some ass. What? No, Jeffy, stop it! Oh, my God. Well, that is a lot of money. What in the hell's taking Charlene so long to use a damn turlet? I'm gonna go check on her. Charlene! I checked the bathroom. I didn't see you in there. You get lost? Charlene! Charlene, you in here? Sister! Oh, brother! Jumping! You cheating on me with this inbred? He ain't even family. Well, he looks like one of us. Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go get famous again. I'm gonna leave your ass on the curb. Ah, oh, shoot. You're all news. I hope you're enjoying me and Daddy's sloppy thirds. You won't ever leave me, will ya? Uh, no promises, but if I find somebody else with one more tooth than you, then maybe. Deal! Alright, now you hop back on these beanies and weenies. 4,990,000? 5 million. All 5 million dollars is there. Oh my god, we can buy whatever we want. Our lives are gonna change forever. What? The news? <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Trailer Park Danny, who's being called Old News, is now New News because he just released a hit new song featuring the new upcoming black country singer, BLT. We will now play the music video for you. I'm really sad. My sister cheated on me. I don't know why she would do this to me. I want her to come back. And only love me, but looks like she doesn't love me. Oh hell nah! Don't be sad, Trailer Park Danny. There's more sisters in the family tree. Ha. That's right, you don't need that hoe. It's time to let her go. Go and date your cousin, man. She's a tenfold show. You got plenty other sisters. Put them in a row. My truck is stuck in the mud. Could you give me a tow? That's right, I don't need that hoe. Throw her in the road. I got a sister with a big tongue. She looks like a toad. Forget them yellow teeth. Want them white like a commode. I have so many cousins, I have a whole truck load. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Danny. You gotta keep it in the family. Ha! Just cause she your sister don't mean she don't miss you. Ha ha! Give her that pipe you know she like. Roll Tide. Well, good thing we still have all this money. Hey there, enjoying all that money? Yeah, I sure am. Well, you never really signed anything, so see ya. Wait, wait, hey, you can't just take our money. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Me and BFT are on top of the world. Damn right, Danny, you better tell them. They just came in here and took all my money. You mean my money. I bet you wish you took that deal now, you would've still had half. Now I'm gonna get my sister back. Jeffy, I love you. Woo, brother. What's up, homie? Other brother! Hey sis, what you doing here? Oh, you ain't heard the news? I'm a superstar! Love me, brother! Uh, 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 you gotta go through BLT first. Yeah, you know what BLT stands for? Black lettuce and tomato. And I got a BBC for you. <laughs> I don't know what a BBC sandwich is, but I know what a BLT is. Come on, sis! Gosh darn it! Yeah, come taste this BBC with no condiments. Um... Daddy, where'd my money go? The guy took it. Can't you just make another country song and we get famous again? Well, I don't know, Danny, because I don't have a country voice. You've been doing it all day! No, I haven't. Try it, Jeffy. All right, I'll try. <clears throat> babu, ba ba babu. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat my meatball sub. And I can't wait to eat my vegan tofu ball sub. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat dog shit. Jeffy, that is healthy. Well, Danny, why do I have to eat the green bean sub and you guys get the yummy meatball sub? Because, Jeffy, you're really young, so you have to live a long time, so you have to eat healthier. Oh, well, so that means if you eat that, that means you'll die soon, and then I'll get to eat whatever the hell I want? Jeffy, just shut up and eat. <laughs> Well, I had to make room in my belly for my meatball sub. Oh, I had to make room in my belly for this. 
<laughs> Ew, Jimmy, don't, don't blow it this way. Go open up a window. All right. I'm just going to take this with me. You're disgusting, Jeffy. I open the window. I'm just going to throw this out there. Jeffy, where's your sandwich? I ate it. Where's the plate? I put it in the dishwasher. Aw, good job, Jeffy. Yeah, I'm a responsible boy. Well, Jeffy, you let two flies in the house. Go close the window. Okay. Oh, no, Marvin. What's on my sandwich? Shoot, shoot. Oh, there's one in my face. I got it. Ow. Oh, no, Daddy's on the back of your head. Ow. 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 Daddy, stop that. Aw, it's back on my sandwich again. I got it. Ow, Jeffy. Give me that. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh, you know. Boy, stop it! Uh, you won't stop hitting me. Stop oh. me now! You won't stop hitting me. Uh, oh, you know what, Jeffy? That's it. Give me that. We're gonna use raid, okay? To get rid of these stupid flies. No more hitting me with it. Okay. I got the raid. Where are the two flies at? They flew away, Marvin. Did they fly back outside? No, Dan. You told me to close the window. Uh, Jeffy, can you go looking for the flies? You want me to search the entire house for two flies? Well, your eyes look in the two different directions, so it shouldn't be too hard. That is true. I'm on it, Daddy. Marvin, that was mean. Baby, I want those flies dead. They ruined our meatball date. I was about to go down on these balls. That was sus, Daddy. Jeffy, go look for the flies. Uh, hmm, where could these flies be? What the? <laughs> Okay, meatball sub, get in my mouth. Ah. Daddy! The two flies are banging on my bed! What? Yeah, come here! Oh, they're trying to reproduce, baby. Not my watch. <laughs> Take that, you flying bitches! Yeah, you flying whores! What? Stop banging on my bed! No, Jeffy, where are the flies at? I don't know, Danny. They were just right here. You're not lying to me, are you? No. <gasps> Danny, look. Oh, my God. They had babies! Jeffy, quick! Let's leave the room and close the door and lock them in here! All right, Danny! Okay, Jeffy, we locked them in the room. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna have to call a bug guy. Come on! Baby, where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? Those two flies. They reproduced and now there's thousands of them. What? Yeah, but don't worry. I locked them in a room. Well, is that gonna work? It's gonna work for now until we call an exterminator and I know exactly who to call. Just, where's my phone? <laughs> Okay, I found my phone. It's ringing. Please answer. Hello, I'm cooking dinner. What you want? Uh, we're trying to hire an exterminator. I'm retired. I'm sorry. Well, no, you don't understand. You're really good at killing flies, and there's a bunch of flies in my house. I stopped killing flies a long time ago after I avenged my dead grandfather. Oh, can you come please kill a few more flies? They're all in my house. I vow to never kill another fly again. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Oh, uh, Marvin, look! Oh my god! There's thousands of flies coming out of my air vents! I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do! Hey! Your grandfather was a pussy! What did you say to me, Fry? I said your grandfather was a pussy and you're a pussy too! Oh, I'll come over there! Kick your ass, Fry! I'd like to see you try, pussy! Oh, pussy! I'll call you pussy! I'm on my way and I'm gonna kill all those fries! Okay, he's on his way to kill the flies. That must be him! Hello? Where is it? Where's the goddamn fry? What is that? This is my assault rifle. It shoots salt at fries and kills them. Salt kills flies? Yes, because to fry, salt is like little tiny bullets. See the salt? Yeah, because real bullets are too big to kill the fry. Well, this is gonna kill the flies. Oh, it's gonna kill them real good. Oh, they come upstairs. Look, 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 all the flies are in here. Oh my oh God, that's a swarm of fries. Now, which one of them called me pussy? Uh, I think it was that one. Oh, you're gonna die, you son of a bitch! They're dropping like flies! Oh no, I ran out of salt! <laughs> it's time to whip out Old Faithful. This is for my grandfather! He ain't no pussy! And neither am I! Oh no, they're taking me away! Help me! Oh no! Oh no! They're getting me too! Ah! What's going on? They tied us up and they're gonna kill us like they did my grandmother! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die either! Listen up! Today, you killed 13 of my brothers, so you will be punished with your lives! 
Currently, we are spreading lighter fluid around your house, and Tommy here will use this match and set your house on fire, burning you to death. Yeah! I'm gonna burn you all to death, you pussies! Damn it, I didn't get him! Oh, come on, can we work something out? Nope, you're gonna die, so don't even try escaping, because we have flies guarding the door. Oh, man, I don't wanna die. I got an idea. We can call my son. He's very good at killing flies. But if someone can reach into my pocket and grab my phone, we can call him for help. My hands are tied up. So are mine. Oh my god, Jeffy, your hands are free. If you can just reach into his pocket and grab his phone, we can call his son. Hurry. Hurry. All right, I'm looking for it. I think I got something. That's my egg roll. Oh, oh okay, I found your phone now. All right, it's ringing. Uh, hello, welcome to Great Wild China Restaurant. How may I pick up your oob? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get two orders of yum yum rice, please? Oh, uh, yeah, the rum rum rice. Anything else? Oh, don't forget the egg roll. You got one in your pants. Ooh, I want some spring rolls. And an order of spring rolls, please. Oh, uh, yeah, the spring roll. You want something to drink with that? Only $6 a month. What are you guys doing? Tell them about the flies. Oh, yeah, your daddy's tied up and there's flies everywhere. Holy shit, the flies got the back hapu. I'm on my way. He's Danny's on his way. Is he bringing the spring rolls? Forget about the food, we're about to die! Wah! 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 Die, you stupid fry! Where's my papu? Baby. You did good, too. Did you bring the spring rolls? Shut up about food. Untie us. Okay, I will untie you. Yeah, you gotta untie us so we can avenge your great grandfather. The papu, whatever happened to the great grandfather? You never tell me. I think you're old enough to know, too. Everyone got time for a story? I'd like to be saved first. I'll tell you a story. Your great grandfather was a warrior, a Chinese samurai, defending the Great Wall of China from the Mongolian fries. The fries would try to fry over the Great Wall to take over China, and he would shoot them down with his bow and arrow and cut them in half with his sword. And after a long day of battle, he'd go home and he'd make a bowl of chicken fried rice, and he was eating it with his chopsticks. And as he take a bite, a fry fry into his mouth, and he started choking like bah, 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 and he fall over and die. I was just a little kid at the time, and I woke up and went into the kitchen holding my brankie to get a glass of rice milk. And I see my grandfather on the ground and I say, wake up grandfather, wake up. And I poke him with his chopsticks and I find out he dead and I cry. So I take his samurai sword and I go outside and practice. And next day, I go out and kick Mongolian fried ass to avenge my grandmara! <laughs> that story is so sad. I wish I could have met my great grandpa. That's why we have to kill all the fries to avenge your great grandmara. That make me want to kill every fry. Can you untie us first? Sure. Come here, fry. What? Go get him too. Why did he untie us first? Uh, Jeffy, use your open hand and cut us open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got the rope off. Let's get out of here. We gotta go see if my son too needs help. He might need backup. But the house might burn down. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, Jeffy. Well, then it's up to me. Mm-mm-mm. My meatball sub is almost done. Get out of here, you stupid fly. Me, pussy. Wait, what'd you say? What the? Oh, thank you for killing that fly for me. Oh, this is no problem. Oh, my God. Tommy, no. Get him, guys. Wait, ah, where did all these flies come from? Ah, Oh, you're dead now, and no one's here to save you. <laughs> there was salt in the pantry. You saved my life, father. No, too. You saved my life by carrying all those fries. You just like your great grandpa. <gasps> I'm like a great grandpa. I'm so honored. Yeah, let's go celebrate with some chicken fried rice and some rice milk. Okay. Marvin, I'm so glad all those flies are gone and that the house wasn't burned down. We're never opening a window ever again. Oh my god, Marvin, there's a fly left. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No, no, don't kill me. I'm a baby. Oh, Marvin, it's just a baby fly. Can we keep it? What the? Good job, too. Uh, it's dead now.
Well, now time for Bill. You call exterminator and we exterminate. Uh, I forgot that I had to pay you guys. Get him, too. What the hell? Next time you pay, pussy boy. Yeah, pussy. Are they gone? Oh, come on, where is it? What's wrong, Junior? I'm trying to build my Lego pod racer for the big Lego pod race. You're gonna compete in the most Espa Classic? Well, I'm trying to. But what about Sabalba? He wins every year. I'm gonna win this year. You're not gonna beat him in this puny thing. Well, I'm missing my flap. See, look at the instructions. It says a flap goes right there, and I can't find that piece. Well, you gotta have your flap, Junior. How else are you gonna steer? I don't know, and the race is today. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Today's boon to Eve. Cody, do you know anyone that could have that piece? Well, you could always ask, Watto. I have the piece you're looking for. How much you sell to me for? 500 credits! I don't have that many credits! Too bad, so sad! Hmm, let me try this. Yo, give me the piece for free! <laughs> Jedi mind tricks don't work on Toydarians! I don't know. No, seriously, Cody, stop screwing around. I can't find that piece. Well, the only person who'd have a piece like that is a Jedi. Do you know any Jedi? No, all the Jedi got wiped out when Darth Sidious said, Execute Order 66. So they're all dead? Yeah, I mean, except for Rey. Oh. Yeah. A commercial? A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. There were two brothers who started a birthday party Star Wars business. Well, actually, he started it, and I didn't want to do it, but then he told our mom, and honestly, I could use the money. But anyway, we'll come to your birthday party and show you the power of the Force. Unlimited power! Yeah! So call now, and we'll be there in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> you said sex. J Jonathan, this is a commercial. Ooh, Junior, look, we could call them! What, you keep knocking it over, Cody. Oh, sorry, but we could call them. They look like real Jedi. I don't think they're just people in costumes. Do you think they'll know where to find this piece? Well, maybe, but if not, they could help us find somebody who does. Okay, Cody. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Just scoot over there. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, how about you go call them? Yeah, I'll go call them. And I'll also use the bathroom. So if I'm not here while they're here, it's because I am in the bathroom. Okay. Hey there, somebody call a Jedi? And a shit? Jesus, Jonathan, calm down. You're gonna poke somebody's eye out with that thing. <laughs> That's what she said! Look, I have Darth Maul's lightsaber! Yeah, and you get Kylo Ren's outfit and Darth Vader's helmet. So what's even going on there, bud? I'm a triple shit! Okay, whatever. Are you a real Jedi? Am I a real Jedi? I killed Darth Maul. How do you think he got that lightsaber? It's true! I saw the whole thing! Okay, well, you didn't see it, but I can tell you what happened. So me and my master Qui-Gon Jinn, well, Liam Neeson, had to fight Darth Maul, right? And there were like these laser walls that kept turning on and off. So me and my master got separated, and Liam Neeson had to fight Darth Maul by himself. And then Darth Maul stabbed Liam Neeson in the stomach, and he was dying. So I was upset. I mean, I, I was panicking, right? And then my laser wall turned off, and I had to fight Darth Maul. And then Darth Maul stuck his hand out, and he was like, bring it, you know? And so I just, I pissed my pants at that point. I mean, I was freaking out. But then I had to try to fight Darth Maul with pissy pants, and and honestly, I mean, he kicked my ass. He knocked me into, like, this big hole. It was like a well or something. I, I don't actually know what this place was. There were, like, laser walls and, like, a big hole. And, I mean, we got in there pretty easily. The place was huge. I guess, I guess it was, like, a power plant or something. I don't know. I mean, OSHA would have had a field day with this place. I, there were no handrails anywhere. I'm sure I'm not the only person who fell into this big hole. But anyway, I fell into this hole, and I was just hanging on by, like, this little peg. And I dropped my lightsaber, so I was just hanging there. And then Darth Maul was looking down at me, and he was, like, making sparks with his lightsaber, because I guess he he was trying to scare me, but then I remember that my master's lightsaber's up there. So I do this sick front flip over Darth Maul's head, then I catch Liam Neeson's lightsaber, and I cut Darth Maul in half, and he falls down the giant well. And I'm like, okay, that shit was cool. I mean, that was badass. I felt great. I, I, I mean, I looked over, and Liam Neeson was giving me a thumbs up, and he was like, yo, dog, that, that shit was tight. That was, that was really cool. And then he said, uh, yeah, yeah, train Anakin for me, and, and then he died. So yeah, I went on to train Darth Vader. Hmm, now that I think about it, I did kind of raise Darth Vader, so I guess I am kind of a shitty teacher. Hey, you can't touch your face with your lightsaber! You'll burn your face off! These aren't real lightsabers, Jonathan. I, I mean, they are real lightsabers, because I'm a real Jedi. Can we go back to Party City after this? I think I need a bigger costume. Yeah, you need to stick to one character. Look, I'm just missing a piece on my Lego set. Oh, I am no good with Legos. Well, I'm trying to join the Boon to Eve race today. You're, you're gonna race in the Boon to Eve race? Oh, kid, the reward for that is like 50,000 credits. You know how much that is in US dollars? That's like 50 bucks. I know it. I'm trying to join. Well, you're not going to beat Sabalba. He wins every year. If I get that part from
for my pod racer, I know I'll win. Hmm. Okay, I think I know somebody who might have that part. Who? Darth Maul's son, Steve Maul. Steve Maul? Yes, Darth Maul had a son named Steve Maul, and he collects Legos, and I bet if we beat him in a lightsaber battle, he'll give us that part. But I want 50% of your winnings from the race. Okay, deal. Okay, come on, Darth Jonathan. Aye, aye, Captain. So where is Steve Maul? He's usually out here on the street practicing his lightsaber skills. Hey, Steve. Whoa, he is really good with that lightsaber. Yeah, he's just like his father, a little bit fruitier. Oh, and he's a huge Green Bay Packers fan. That's why he has that cheese head. Hey, Steve, do you have a little flap that goes to a Lego pod racer? Oh, shit, he's saying bring it. Okay, he only does deals in lightsaber battles. Hold on, let me get the real one. Whoa, that is sick! All right, Steve, coming at you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you, Steve. Just give me the peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's no doubt you're more skilled than I am. I know I killed your dad, but that was a long time ago. What? You killed my dad? Oh, shit, you didn't know. I, I, I am so sorry. Yeah, I mean, he killed Liam Neeson. I had to. That's it. You asked for it. Oh, oh shit, Steve's going off. Steve's going off. Uh-oh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Okay, screw this. Jonathan, you try it. Ah. Really? You want me to fight him? Yeah, he is a badass, and I do not want to lose my hand. I mean, just look at him. I mean, that is pure skill. He is one with the force. Damn. Can I use your lightsaber? Yeah, it's over there on the ground. Just go pick it up. No, I'll use the force. What, what the hell? How the hell did you do that? All right, big boy. Come to daddy. No, he is really strong. I told you. Hey, what's that over there? Yeah. You fell for your own trick in your book. Hey, my Jesus. Oh, you did it now. Getting me. Brother, no! Steve, you bastard! That's it! <laughs> Cut you in half just like your father. Now you're two halves to a whole idiot. <laughs> Jonathan, you okay? No, there's a lightsaber cutting me in half. Well, it's a good thing it's just a toy. Oh, uh, if I die. Promise me you'll delete my search history. You're not gonna die. Oh, hey, look, the piece. Right. Okay, come on, Jonathan, let's get out of here. Hey, kid, guess what I got? Taco Bell? What the hell? Uh, no, I got the Lego piece we agreed on. Why, do you want Taco Bell? Because I'll get you Taco Bell after you win that race. How'd you get the piece? Oh, it was not easy. We had to kill Steve Maul. Well, actually, I had to kill Steve Maul all by myself. This is from your hood, dog. Homie. Get it? Because you're wearing a hood? Jonathan, don't say that around anyone else. Well, thanks for the peace. But you don't seem that excited, kid. I was thinking about backing out of the race. You little shit, listen to me! We didn't just kill Steve Mo for no reason, got it? You're gonna race! Well, oh, actually, I thought- Shut the hell up, Jonathan! You're gonna win that race so I can get my 25 bucks, you understand? Okay. Okay, good. <coughs> We're gonna leave. So, uh, so long, alligator. Wait, that didn't sound right. But... Goodbye, alligator. What? No, that's not it either. What? See you in a while, alligator. What the hell is it? It's not... Uh, oh, it's see you later, alligator, because it's supposed to rhyme. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, so see you later, crocodile. Hey, Jenny, sorry I took so long. I just took a massive dump. What'd I miss? Oh, hey, you got the piece. Yeah, I got the piece. Wicked. So you ready for the race? I'm just starting to have doubts, Cody. I think I might lose. Yeah, I think you probably will, too. So Bulba's never lost, and his pod racer's twice as big as yours, and it's orange. I guess I'll just give it my best shot. Well, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Codes. What? You know, like a nickname, like Codes. I don't like that. How about Codename Kid Next Door? Cody's fine. How about Odie? What Odie? Or Otis. Otis is just a different name. I, I think I'll just stick with Cody. Okay, Cody, come on. Hello and welcome to the most expert classic here on the eve of Punta. Our two racers are behind me and the race will start shortly. Hey, nerd. Nice pod racer. Thanks, PJ. Not. <laughs> PJ, you're so funny. See, so funny. <laughs> you call that a pod racer? Look at my pod racer. It's so orange. You're right, PJ. It is orange. See, orange is so cool. Yeah, orange is the best. It's way cooler than blue and gray and yellow. What, what's that, Sebulba? <laughs> Sebulba called your pod racer Bantha Poodoo. That basically means it's poo poo. How about we just let our pod racing do the talking? <laughs> okay. All right, racers, on your marks, get set, go! 
Back off, kid. I'm in first place. Not for long. Hey, no bumping. You really think you can beat me, kid? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. What if I put it on hyperdrive? Oh, wow. Okay, you want to play dirty? I'll show you. Oh, no. Junior win! Poor PJ! You play dirty, you bastard! No, no, ladies, I can't win them all. Hey, kid, now that was pod racing. I guess I was Bantha Poodoo this time. Here's the 50. Thanks, PJ! Come on, ladies, let's go to Target and give me some more Legos. Woohoo! Well, kid, congratulations on winning that pod race! I got your Taco Bell right here. I already ate some. Uh, I'm gonna just take this, because... The Taco Bell was like 15 bucks, you already owed me 25, and I had to pay for gas, so, you know, I think I can just take all this. I mean, hey, I fought a Sith Lord for you. But hey, yeah, I mean, you won the pod race, that was pretty cool, I saw it. So, thanks for watching, uh, this video was supposed to go up on May the 4th, you know, like, May the 4th be with you, that's, that's like a Star Wars day. But we had to order this Lego set from, like, Columbia, and they didn't offer next day shipping, so we couldn't upload this till May the 8th, and that's like, that's not really a Star Wars thing, I mean, there's like, Darth... Eighth or, you know, the eighth pyre strikes back. I don't know, whatever, it's May 8th. It's a Star Wars video. Hey Danny, can I go in the bathroom and fill up the bathtub until it overflows and then ride the waves off the side of it? That would be totally righteous, righteous. No, Jeffy. Danny, why don't you ever let me do anything fun? Why can't you just say yes? Because, Jeffy. You suck. Oh, what did I do wrong? Marvin, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You could have been nicer and just say no, Jeffy, not today. No, I have to yell at him. Don't yell at me now. What am I doing wrong? Hey, Cody, do you think Thomas will make the flip this time? No, he never makes it. Have faith, Cody. Come on, Thomas, do the flip. Dog shit. That's what this toy is. It's dog shit. Reset it and try it again, Cody. Hey, guys. What's wrong, Jeffy? I'm mad at my dad because he never says yes to anything I want to do. Well, hold on. We want to see if Thomas is going to make this flip again. He's not going to make it. He's going to make it, Cody. He's never made it. Come on, Thomas. Make the flip. Make the flip. Make the flip. Dog shit. Do I need to say it again? Reset it one more time. What were you saying, Jeffy? I'm just mad at my dad because he never lets me do anything fun. I wish for one day he would say yes to everything. Well, you could try hypnotizing him. What does hypnotize me? Oh, hold on. Let me get my grandfather's pocket watch. But first, I want to watch this. A dog shit. Go get the pocket watch. All right, I got my grandfather's watch. Well, give me a second. I reset it, Thomas. Why? He's not going to do it. He's going to make it this time. Bet me a dollar. Deal. Come on, Thomas. Make it. Pay up, chump. <sighs> wait, wait. He actually stuck the landing. Right? He stood back up. Damn it. Ah, oh, give me my dollar back. You have it. <laughs> okay, what? I got my grandfather's Hold watch. Hold on. Jeffy restarted it. Wait. Okay, it's dog shit, and I, keep, I got my watch. Okay, oh, so. how does it work? Well, you just wave this back and forth in front of your dad's face and tell him to say yes to anything you want to do, and he'll do it. Oh, well, why doesn't everyone have one of those? Well, because people don't really have pocket watches anymore. Now they have iPhones and Google Pixels or whatever the hell it is people use these days. Oh, uh, well, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. You can have it. Just be careful. It belonged to my great-great-grandfather. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hated that bastard. You could break it for all I care. Now, Jeffy, when you tell your dad to say yes to everything in a day, I would start it tomorrow, because today's almost over with. Oh, good thinking. Junior. All right, restart it, Cody. Best oh, two out of three. Why? Hey, Daddy. Sorry for yelling at Take you. Take that apology and shove it. What? Check this out. What is that? Your pocket watch. Look at it. You're not going to hypnotize me, Jeffy. We'll see about that. Just keep looking at it. Tomorrow, when you wake up, you will say yes to everything I want to do. I'm not going to do that, Jeffy. And when people ask you why you're saying yes to everything, you will say that you don't know. All right, Jeffy. Go to your room. All right. See you tomorrow, Daddy. Like that would ever work. I can't be hypnotized. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey Marvin, I'm hangy. What? I'm hungry and I'm hangy. I thought you were supposed to be at your mother's. I was, and then I woke up and I was hangy. Feed me Marvin, cheeky nuggies. Ah! Okay, good. It was just a nightmare. Good morning, Daddy. You wanna know what I want for breakfast? What? 20 Happy Meals. You think you can do that? Yes. I meant to say yes. I'm, I'm trying to say the, the two-letter word. I'm trying to say yes. 
Why do I keep saying that? Because I hypnotize you, Daddy. It's working, right? Yes, sir. Ha! Gotcha. La, 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 la. Marvin, I'm Hanky. I want some chicken nuggies. No, okay, okay, Daddy. Let's go to McDonald's. And then divorce her. What? They gave me 20 of the same toy? Well, maybe that's the only one they have, Jeffy. Well, this is horse dingleberries. Yay! Chicken nuggies! Okay, I'm good now. I'll talk normal. Jeffy, are you going to eat your 20 Happy Meals? Um, uh, I'm full. He didn't even eat them. Oh, man, Daddy, I'm stuffed. Thank you for getting me 20 Happy Meals. You didn't even eat them. Well, I just wanted the toys. Marvin, that was really nice of you to get Jeffy 20 Happy Meals. There's people starving in the world. Daddy, can you take me to Disney World? Yes. Can Scooter come too? Hey, fat boy. Yes. Yay! Scooter, we're going to Disney World! Marvin, how can you afford that? I can't. Come on, Daddy, let's go to Disney World! I'm gonna have to use credit cards. Disney World! Disney World! Ah! Where's the big rat? What are you talking about? Mickey Rat. His name is Mickey Mouse. Mickey Rat. Let's just go ride rides, come on. Are you guys ready for the ride? I'm scared! Ah! Ah! All right, guys, what ride do you want to go on next? I want to go on the Slinky Dog ride. All right, let's go on it. Here it boy! Oh, that was Woody. Come on. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go! Ah! Let's go! Ah! Okay, guys, we rode rides. Let's go home. Can you take us to Universal Studios? But, Jeffy, we, we just went to Disney World. Can you take us? Yes. Woo! Universal Studios! Yeah, let's go ride rides! I want to ride Dominion Ride! Me too! Minions! Wait, where'd you get that at? I stole it. I want to ride Dominion Ride over and over and over and over and over again. Me too! Okay, let's go ride it a, a few times. Okay, guys, we've rode that ride over 40 times. I lost count. Let's do it again. Can we go to Dave and Buster's? But we're already at... Uh, yes. Yay! Dave and Buster's! Yay! Let's go play some games. Exhausted. Marvin, I just checked the credit card statements. You went to Disney World, Universal Studios, and Dave and Buster's? Hell yeah, Mommy! And we rode the Minions ride 42 times. It was fun! Marvin, how are we gonna afford all this? I'm just gonna have to sell a kidney. Can me and Scooter draw on the walls? No, Jaffy, no drawing on the walls. Well, then I'll ask Daddy. Daddy, can me and Scooter draw on the walls? Yes. Yay! Yay! Screw you, Mommy! Marvin, why are you gonna let them do that? I just can't say no to Jeffy. Aw, you're just a little softy, aren't you? That's not what it is. Ain't done! This picture's pretty pretty. That's the biggest poom ever! Heck yeah, it is. <sighs> Jeffy, why'd the drawing have to be inappropriate? Well, you said we could draw on the walls! Yeah, but why'd you have to make the drawing disgusting? That's the biggest poop ever! Yeah, Daddy, it is the biggest poop ever, don't you think so? Yes. Yay! Hey, fat boy, you wanna go play basketball? Yeah. Daddy, you wanna play basketball with us? Yes. Yay! Let's go! Okay, guys, hurry up and play basketball. My turn, my turn! Owie! I made it! Three you, points! You did not make it. Yes, I did. It hit me in the head and the backboard. Alright, my turn, my turn! Yay! I made it! Make it, take it! Okay, go grab your ball. Well, can I use you as the ball? <sighs> Yes. Yay! Yeah! Oh. oh, my head. I missed Danny, so it's Scooter's turn. Give me a bell. Oh, no. Hey, Jeffy, Elio. Uh, gotcha. Uh, oh. Come on. Oh, I hate my life. I'm born to play basketball. I'm too good at it. Hey, Danny, can we throw you off the roof and do the pool? Yes. Yay! Give me a bell. Oh. 
Uh, Jeffy, I'm scared. What if you guys miss and I don't land in the pool? Oh, don't be scared, Danny. You've seen Scooter's aim. I don't miss. Uh, let's just talk about it. How about we do something else? Time to go swimming. What? No, no, no. Ah! Ow! So close. Oh, Scooter, you're almost there. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to your face? Jeffy and Scooter tried to throw me in the pool and they missed. Jeffy, how could you? Well, it was Scooter's fault. But I was super close. Tell me how close I was. Look at my face. That's how close he was. Jeffy, you better make it up to Marvin. All right, Mommy. Hey, Daddy, you want to go have ice cream cone with me and Scooter? Yes. Yay! All right, Scooter, here's our ice cream cones. That looks yummy. Hey, Jeffy, where's my ice cream cone? Oh, Scooter made a special ice cream cone for you. There it is. Ew, what is that? It's dirt. I'm not eating a dirt ice cream cone. Daddy, will you eat the dirt ice cream cone? <clears throat> Yes. Open wide. Ew. Marvin, why are you spitting all over the couch? Jeffy and Scooter made me eat a dirt ice cream cone. Marvin, what is going on with you today? I just want to say yes to everything Jeffy asked for to make him have a good day. Well, that's really nice of you, Marvin, but you need to set a boundary. I wish Jeffy would agree on a boundary. Hey, Daddy, can you take me and Scooter to Target and buy us whatever we want? Marvin, say no. Yes. Yay! Marvin! All right, Jeffy, do you have everything you need? Yeah, I think so. What about you, Scooter? Heck yeah! Uh, excuse me, sir, what do you have in your pants? A big old winner? But, yeah, there's no way it's that big. Yes, it is. One first place. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go in and see if I can... I really hope this is a toy or I'm gonna be in big trouble. What, what is this? Hold on. What? Really? You were trying to steal this? You got me. All right, you're under arrest. Come on. Whoopsie daisy. Wow, Scooter got arrested for trying to shoplift, Jeffy. Let's get out of here. All right, now let's go. Are you happy with all your stuff, Jeffy? Yes. Are you happy with all your credit card debt? Yes. Good. Feed me a Band-Aid. Um, <laughs> I love Band-Aids. Marvin, how could you afford all this stuff? Because Jeffy wanted it. Well, Marvin, it's been a long day for you. We should go to bed. It's one minute to midnight. <gasps> one minute till midnight? The day's almost over with. Oh, now it's conveniently midnight. <gasps> that means the day's over. Jeffy, ask me for something. Feed me another Band-Aid. No. <gasps> I can finally say no. Marvin, what's going on? So last night, Jeffy hypnotized me where I had to say yes to everything he wanted today. What? And now the day's over and now I can say no. Jeffy, where's that pocket watch at? It's on the ground. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, now I'm going to hypnotize you. Oh, not going to look. Don't have to. Look at it, Jeffy. No, no, don't have to. Look at it. 18, don't have to. There's a band-aid in front of you. Where? All right, Jeffy. Starting today, you're going to do everything I say. Maybe. No, no you're going to say yes. Maybe. You're going to say yes to everything I tell you to do. Maybe. Okay. Now I'm going to make Jeffy do stuff all day. Well, what do you have in mind, Marvin? Ooh, I got some stuff I want him to do. Yeah, Jeffy. Eat that dirt ice cream cone. I like it. You know, keep eating it. Keep eating it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oops, I missed. I just can't seem to make it. Dunked it. Get in there. Yeah! Jeffy, you want to go get thrown in the pool? Man, Jeffy, I hope I don't miss the pool. All right, class. Tomorrow, we're going to be having a major test before spring break test. So as you all know, next week is spring break. And so, before spring break, we're going to have a major test. What makes this test so major and before spring break is that if you fail major test before spring break test, then you have to come to school all week during spring break because you're dumb because you failed the major test before spring break test. You understand? If we fail the test, we have to come to school during spring break? I might fail on purpose. More school? Can I get a zippity doo -dah? Dude, I can't fail. We have to study. All right, Joseph, come over to my house tonight. We're going to study together. Okay, dude. I don't want to fail the test either. I'm missing a chromie. Can you help a homie? Sure, Jeff. You can come over and study with us. Cody, can you please come help us study? You're smart. I don't know, Junior. My price for helping's pretty high. What is it? Mm, I don't know. How about six ham and cheese hot pockets? <gasps> what? That many? Yep, I'm a hungry boy. Me and Ken are gonna scarf those down. Uh, okay, you got a deal, Cody. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm in. You hear that, Belly? Got some ham and cheese aroonies coming in hot. So I suggest you all go home and study so you can pass the major test before spring break test. Okay, guys, let's go to my house and study. Okay. 
Mm-mm-mm, Junior. This pocket looks like it couldn't afford its rent and got cream pied by its landlord's ham and cheese. I mean, it's more of a room temperature pocket than a hot pocket, but that's okay, I can't complain. You guys ready to learn? I guess. Okay, so tomorrow's test is gonna be a math test, so I'm gonna be teaching you PEMDAS. What's that? Well, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Dude, that's a lot. How are we supposed to remember that, Cody? Well, it's actually pretty easy to remember because most people remember it like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What'd she do? What? What did Aunt Sally do that with the excuse her? What? Did she toot? What? No, no, she did not toot because she's not real. If she's not real, why are you bringing her up? Yeah. Well, it's just to help you remember the A and the S. Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know. She's probably like middle age because she's an aunt, so maybe in her 50s. It doesn't matter. Well, you don't know your own aunt's age. She's not my aunt. Yes, she is. You said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's your dear aunt for well, some reason. Well, that's just to help you remember the letters. Like, I don't even use the Aunt Sally one. I, I actually use, please excuse my dick and scrotum because they're always getting in the way because I wear boxers. But as long as it's these letters in this order, that's that's all that matters. So I can make it whatever I want? Yeah, sure. So I can do, please excuse my dear alien sister? Ooh, I like that, dude. Yeah, sure, that works. Ooh, what about African sister? Yeah, that works too. What about Asian sister? Yeah, the letters are the same. Australian sister? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh what if the Australian sister's Margot Robbie? Ooh, dude, I would totally drag my balls across glass just to smell Margot Robbie's fart. Oh, me too! All righty roo Okay, guys, let, let's just focus on the letters, okay? So this is how it works. You do parentheses first, so you do 89 plus 6. Who would win in a fight, alien sister or African sister? Definitely African sister, dude. But no, maybe in a 100-meter dash in the Olympics, but not in a fight. Alien sister has a UFO and bazookas. They don't have bazookas, dude. Yeah, What's yeah, wrong with you? Guys, they, they're not going to fight because none of that's real, okay? They just help you remember the math. Okay? Well, can Aunt Sally just come do this math for us? Yeah. Okay, okay guys, I don't think you're going to pass this test tomorrow. Why? Because Aunt Sally's not coming to town? No, because you guys are stupid. But it's okay. I think I have a solution. Okay, guys. I made this. What is that? This is the opposite ray. What's it do? Well, anything you shoot with this becomes the opposite of how it is now. Well, why haven't you told us about it? Well, I was going to use it on you, Junior, to turn you gay, but I decided that would be wrong, and I want to turn you gay all on my own. So if we shoot Ken, he'll not be a doll anymore? He's not a doll, Jim! Well, if we shoot us, we'll be smart? Well, it should. Ooh, ch test it out on Jeffy. Uh-huh. Okay, guys. I, I haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but stand back! <laughs> Salutations, my homo sapiens. Emphasis on the homo. <gasps> You're smart, Jeffy! Precisely. Say something smart. The Earth's core is exactly 1,802 miles beneath us. That sounds pretty smart to me. Dude, shoot me next! Do you think it'll make me rich? Well, we already did that once and everyone hated it, but I can try. Ah, my hip. Oh god, it made him old. But why did it make him old, Cody? Well, I guess because he was young before, and it's an opposite race, so it just made him old. Well, why didn't it make Jeffy old? Well, I guess it just chooses one random thing about you to make opposite. Ah, change me back! I don't know if I can change you back, and I'm afraid to try, because you might die, because you're alive now, and the opposite of that would be dead. Ah, I don't understand these contraptions. I'm going to eat some mashed potatoes. I don't know why guy you couldn't give him parents. Your turn, Junior. No, I don't want to get shot by that. Oh, come on, Junior, don't be a puss. Uh, well, what if it makes me old? Statistically, that's a 0% chance of happening, because Logan wouldn't use the same joke in the same video. That's true. Okay, fine, shoot me with it. <laughs> It made me a girl? Oh, dang it, Junior. I was hoping you'd be a pickle smoocher. I don't want to be a girl, Cody. Junior, now that you're a female, what are your pronouns? I would like to address you properly. Mine or he, him. I don't have pronouns. That's dumb. Cody, change me back. No, Junior. What if it makes you pregnant? Why would it make me pregnant? Because you're not pregnant now and this thing does the opposite? I don't know. It's doing random shit. Let me shoot you with it. I don't have a problem. Oh, yeah? What's this? Okay, I have a problem. It's okay, Cody. It's just something to take the edge off, you know? Yeah, I understand. Just give me the gun. Okay, maybe you can make me not a root beer holic. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> Wait, Junior, what happened? I don't know. You look the same. Oh. Wait, do you still want a root beer? Oh, yeah, I want one right now. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta check something. Oh, no, my wiener still looks the same. Yeah, it looks like a little boiled shrimp. Not a jumbo shrimp, either. A little cocktail shrimp. A little tiny one. I don't know. Oh my god, Junior, you're hot! I'm hot? Yeah. Oh no, Junior, I think it turned me straight. You're straight? Yeah, because, I mean, Ken's a good-looking guy and all, but I'm not really attracted to him like that anymore. Well, grab a Barbie from the room. Okay. Oh, Junior, check out this absolute smoke show. And check this out. Ain't no panties on that ass. Ain't no panties. I'm talking straight lamb chops. You think she's hot? Oh, Junior, the things I would do to her and will do to her. Damn. Oh, Cody, can you please change me back? I'm not okay with making 18% less than men. Well, you could always start in OnlyFans. I'd subscribe. Let me see them cheeks and them toes. No, come on, Cody. Change me back. I'm being serious. Well, Jeffy still has to take that test tomorrow. Yeah, you guys can pass me your test and I can take them for you. Yeah, so let's just wait for him to do that and then I'll work on changing everyone back tomorrow. Okay, fine. I just really want to actually be able to play in the NBA one day. Yeah, so, uh... Uh, could I spend the night here with you and sleep in your bed? No, Cody, go home! Okay, well, I'm gonna take Francesca here home and let her give me a blumpkin. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ask Chef Peepy to make me something to eat. 
That was a really good movie, Marvin. Yeah, kind of. Do you think that bear was really on cocaine? No. Do you think it was a real bear? It was special effects, baby. It was just a movie. What? Jeffy! Were you humping Hot Pockets again? Actually, Father, I was not having intercourse with the Hot Pockets this time. Then what are they doing here? They're my friend Goaties. Well, clean up all this mess. Well, what is this? Oh, that's an opposite ray. Whatever you shoot with it becomes the opposite of what it was before. Well, I should shoot you with it, you goober. Stop doing bad stuff. All right. Well, I will now defecate in the porcelain bowl that's located in the bath facility. Ooh, Marvin, I should use this on you. I wonder what it would do. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe what? you would grow hair and be hot. It would give me hair? Maybe. Oh, shoot me with it. Okay. Marvin, you have hair. I do? Marvin, you're so sexy. Meet me in the bedroom in five minutes. I'm going to go freshen up. Okay. Ooh, you going to get some spank. Oh, well, Dougie, what are you doing here? I need to borrow $50. But for what? Because I want some chips from the gas station. Chips at the gas station don't cost that much, Dougie. But I also need a drink and some Skittles. Dougie, why don't you get a job and work for your money? You know I can't work, Paul. <sighs> you know what? Uh, Dougie, are you okay? Hello, it is your pal Douglas. Do you still need the $50? No, actually I'm gonna go get a job. I'm coming, Rose! Mm -mm -mm, what a masterpiece! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Junior, why are you dressed like a girl? I'm not dressed like a girl, I am a girl. Oh, okay, you're one of those. I should have seen this coming. Well, I kind of did. You always sound like a girl when you're being annoying. But the real question is, are you going to get it chopped off or what? That's a true commitment. And are you going to put it in a jar above your bed and kiss it every night? Hmm. I'm hungry, Chef PB. Well, look, look, I don't know what you guys eat, but I have a shrimp clam surprise right here. Oh my god, that, that smells disgusting, Chef PB. No, it's really, really good, I promise you. I only gag like twice, and that's a record, okay? You want some? I'll be right back. What, what? Oh, change your mind. You want some, huh? Wait, wait, what's that? All right, Junior, enjoy your steak, shrimp, and lobster seven turf. Oh my god, Chef PB, this looks delicious. You got good at cooking out of nowhere. I know, it's crazy. I don't know how I do it. Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Krause, today you have the major test before spring break test today test. So I'm gonna come around and pass out the major test before spring break test, and if you fail, you have to come to spring break school. Hey, Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Yeah, sure. But what do I get out of it? Just give it to me, Cody. Yeah. What, what was that for? Bend over and grab it. <sighs> oh, man, your dress is too long. Could you pull it up for me? Ew, Cody. Junior, why are you dressed up like a girl? I'm not a girl. I'm tired of everyone saying that. Just shut up and scissor me. What? Pass me your scissors. I want to cut my hair off. Oh, okay. I don't want people to think I'm a girl anymore. Junior, don't do that. It's hot. Shut up, Cody. Without a doubt, I will ace this examination. <laughs> hey, nerd, you're looking extra nerdy today, you dork. I will show you just how educated I am. Hey, Junior, I need to borrow this. My glasses fall off. What? Oh, no, I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, Penelope, here's your major test before spring break test. <sighs> and Junior, here's your major... Why are you dressed like a girl? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm not allowed to ask. Here's your major test before spring break test. And Cody, here's your major test before spring break test. Where's Joseph? Oh, I think he's in a retirement home. Okay, then. Hey, Penelope, that ass is looking real fine. What? Yeah, real fine. Cody, I thought you were into dudes. Yeah, but now I'm straight. And you know what the opposite of having clothes on is? <sighs> not having clothes on. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't have clothes on. Cody, why is she a dragon? Well, I guess the opposite of being a human would be a dragon. I, I guess that makes sense. But now I'm going to be dragging my nuts across your face. <laughs> Penelope, no being a dragon in crass. Go to the principal's office. All right, Jeffy, here's your major test before spring break test. All right, Krauss, everyone take your test and no cheating. If I catch you cheating, I'm going to go Kung Fu Panda on your ass. <sighs> Please excuse my... Well, Cody, what was it? Please excuse my dick and scrotum. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Jeffy, what's the answer number two? The answer to number two is ten. All right, thank you, Jeffy. Hey! Junior Jeffy, no cheating! You think just because I have slant eye, I can't say that you cheating? You both fail! Oh, no! Cody, shoot him with the ray! Yeah, maybe the opposite of a teacher that doesn't let us cheat is a teacher that lets us cheat. Oh my god, I can see! No more slant eyes! Crass, my eyes are wide open now! All of you look ugly as shit, but I can see! All of you get A plus on your test! I'm gonna go see the world with my new eyes! Well, that's one way to pass the test. Yay, we passed! 
Well, Junior, we don't have to go to school during spring break. We should bang to celebrate. No, Cody, we should celebrate by fixing this stupid machine and reversing everyone back to normal. Well, that's the thing, Junior. I don't know how. Well, didn't you build it? Well, yeah, but that was back when I was gay. When I was gay, I had all the time in the world. But now that I'm straight, all I can think about is muff and boobs and big floppy knockers. Well, Cody, how about we call a mechanic? Maybe a mechanic can figure it out. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I'm not getting anything done today. You see her? I'm gonna give her a nuggie, and I'm not gonna tell you where. Uh, I'm gonna call a mechanic. Hey there, somebody call a mechanic? Wow, your haircut is really ugly. Uh, uh, don't look at my hair. So what do you need? Well, my friend made this opposite ray, and whatever you shoot with it makes it the opposite. So I was a boy, so it made me a girl. He was gay, it made him straight, and we want you to be able to reverse it. But wait a minute. So maybe if you shot me with that, I wouldn't have to do so many jobs. And, and maybe my wife would be hot. Maybe I'd actually be happy. Shoot me with that thing. Okay, Cody, shoot him with it. All right, didn't you? Oh my god, I don't have any arms, but I got my legs back. You know what that means? Ball Buster Brooklyn is back. Hey, you. Ooh, ooh, here I come. Oh, my balls, didn't you? <laughs> I'm gonna go kick everyone in the balls. <laughs> oh, great, Cody. He ran away. Now no one's ever gonna fix this machine. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to stay like this for the rest of our lives, Junior. No, Cody, change everything back. Well, I don't see an undo button, do you? Uh... Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah! Wow, okay, well, I guess we should just push that then. Okay. Did it work? Uh, hold on, let me check. Ew. Ooh, hey there, pony boy. I'm gonna glaze those bagels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked. Yeah, I'm not a girl anymore. Guys, guys, what happened to my legs? My beautiful ball-kicking legs! Why, God? Why? I've always wanted to put a spaceman into orbit.